Welcome back everybody, all three of you. We're playing some more Freedom Planet, this time going on to Battle Glacier. The time to get the achievement for this level is a whopping 12 minutes. This is a long level, and this is a pretty hard one too. I actually had a lot of trouble on my first playthrough with the, the mid-stage boss. Yeah, the mid-stage boss. <laughs> the final boss was pretty hard too, but it was that middle one that got me for some reason. So this is a very interesting level. Uh, I normally don't like snow-themed levels too much, and when I first played this one, I really messed up there. I was kind of indifferent about it, but I've started to like it more over time. And there are a ton of enemies in this level. There are maybe a couple spots where it would be convenient to slow down and take out some of them, but for the most part, you just want to run. There is no way you can take out all these guys. There's actually an achievement for taking out a hel helicopter with a single dragon boost, and it's kind of tricky to do. I ended up getting it uh, pretty much by accident. Every time I try to do it, I fail. And I don't know, is that the only helicopter that you can attack is Lilac? I think it is. Okay, we got that big ship in the background. We've seen that several times before. And we actually fight that ship a grand total of two times in the game. We see it a lot more than that, though. And here, I probably should have just climbed straight up, but I thought I'd grab that invincibility just because. I did actually come very close to dying several times on this run. I think there were two cases where I was down to just one hit. Here are these blocks you have to take out with these missiles. You just deal enough damage to them and they travel in whatever direction you're hitting them. And they can be a bit annoying, especially I think it's one of the last areas where you have to hit the missiles because there's four of those really tough robots. And I was able to get through that area without killing any of the robots I know of. I might have taken out one of them. But if you're new to the game, I would recommend on that section that you take your time to take out the robots if you're having trouble with them. Because those guys will follow you relentlessly. And here we're coming up to the mid-boss. This guy... I know I game over it on him at least once, my first playthrough. So you want to attack the glowing portion on the front, you want to avoid his projectiles. If you're having trouble avoiding them, I would recommend that you kind of try to jump ahead of him. So where, see where he jumps back, I would try to stay behind him whenever he's doing that like I did just there if you're having trouble getting hit by him a lot. I'm already down to just one leaf on my health. And I think I actually got a hit in on him there. Oh, another thing that threw me off when I first fought this boss is how the game slows down whenever he lands. That's... that's intentional by the looks of it. It's not a bug, but it's... it was really annoying at first. It's very hard to get used to. And I wanted to grab that shield, but I didn't go quite the direction I was hoping to. So these little cranes are pretty cool. You just uh, go close to them to get grabbed by them, and then press jump. And I don't know, maybe another, another button would work too to send yourself rocketing downward. It will hurt anything that you, that you fly into. Okay, now we've got a particularly tough enemy we need to take out to get rid of the purple blocks so we can progress. This guy is a real pain. A well-placed dragon boost can do a good amount of damage to him. And if you're playing this your first time through and you're struggling with him, you can actually stand on those purple blocks. 
and attack him when he gets close, and he won't be able to hurt you. It'll take a while to take him down, though, if you do it that way. And here I go. <laughs> Here's one spot where I had just one hit left. Oh, and that guy almost got me. So far, I don't think I've had a death in any of my videos. I, I have had some runs where I died, but uh, I usually end up scrapping those. You do lose time by dying. The, the timer will just stay wherever it was when you died. Here we've got these green and red switches. You just touch them to flip them, and that will make one of the blocks solid and the other passable, I guess is the best word. Sometimes they're a little funny and they trigger twice. But it's not too bad. There's actually an area above that one, which I think has some more health than some other pickups in it. And this path here to the right just has health in it. You can't get through there. This is the area that I particularly hate in this level. I, I hate the enemies that are in this area. But I got pretty lucky on this run. Maybe not lucky, maybe I'm just getting good at it after doing it a couple dozen times. And I uh, wasted a bit of time there by going to get that shield, but it was probably worth it. Here we have to take out this guy. It's the same enemy that we saw in Dragon Valley. Setup's a little bit different, though. And this is the part I was talking about earlier with the four really tough robots. If you take your time in this area, you can let just one spawn one or two spawn at a time and take them out if you're having trouble. As you can see, it's just so hard to avoid getting hit by them when there, when there are multiple of them. One of them is not a problem. Two is a problem because you have two different enemies that are firing at you at different times. And I should have stayed on the ceiling back there. I don't know why I always get off. Okay, and here we are to the coming to the final boss. It's another Prince Dale boss. It's actually possible to hit him during his speech. I made a mistake by uh, doing a cyclone, though. Your action bar does not recharge during little cutscenes like that, so I wasn't able to use the dragon boost since it requires a full bar. Okay, when he comes down like this, you've got a short amount of time before he unleashes this attack, which is not too hard to avoid as Lilac. If you use a Dragon Boost at uh, a good time, you can avoid most of the projectiles. Just don't use it right away. Hold on to it until you need it. This boss is actually uh, really fun if you're playing as Mila. The dirt spot on the right has, I think it's an invincibility power up in it if you dig there. And that is pretty much vital to defeating this guy with Mila. He's just impossible otherwise. Carol, he's actually pretty easy as I think since Carol can climb walls. Although maybe still a little bit harder since Lilac's Dragon Boost can get her up to him from anywhere. And you don't really have to kill the little guys. You can... They do drop health. And there we go. We're done. Where did he go? So 
psych. He's still there. Or not. <laughs> oh, I love that. Alright, 9 minutes 33 seconds. I beat my previous best time, but I don't remember how much. It's, uh, I actually had to take a break in the middle of recording this. So, again, the achievement time was 12 minutes. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget, you can subscribe if you want to. And I will see you guys next time.